So about eight years ago when I went to Iowa State University, I first got introduced to calf raising when we stopped at a big calf ranch in Texas with 30,000 hutches and I thought, wow, that's pretty neat. So when I got back home from the farm, we knew we needed to do something to, to upgrade our calf system and, and maybe expand it a little bit. So I had a neighbor that came over and asked me if I could raise his calves and so there it started and today we're raising calves for several other farms. Currently we're moving about 400 calves a year uh, through our system and, and returning back to home farms. About 25% of those calves would be our own, but every calf gets raised the same here at Marvelline. Well, every calf is entered into Dairy Comp 305 when it arrives here and then all treatments, any elevated temperatures, vaccinations, pen moves, and average daily gain is all recorded and then a farmer can receives all that information when the calf returns to him. Well, there's a lot of factors that go into raising a healthy calf, but ultimately her average daily gain is the, the best way to measure her success and, and that's our, our metric that we use here the most. So we'll weigh a calf uh, when it arrives and then we'll weigh a calf again at 10 weeks of age. So when they'll move from a single hutch to a group hutch and then again uh, at six months of age when they return back to the host farm. For biosecurity, we're making sure that, that every calf uh, gets a new pressure washed, clean hutch uh, every calf is kept individual until they're fully vaccinated uh, for uh, any respiratory illnesses. Um, once they're completely healthy and we're confident that that calf is, is on the right track, then we'll group her once they're weaned. Uh, this prevents any cross-sucking um, and also we group calves from, farm on each, from each farm together. So we do a step down weaning process because we feed a lot of milk and so we want to make sure that calves continue uh, to get enough intake during the weaning phase and that we don't see a growth slump uh, while they're being weaned. So we take about two weeks to, to wean a calf from, from the start to once they're completely off milk and that seems to work well for us. We're feeding milk uh, every eight hours, so three times a day, and they're getting about four liters of milk per feeding, so 12 liters total. We've always had a, a close relationship with our veterinarian and our nutritionists. We've, uh, we also work together with some of the nutritionists of the farms we raise for to, to provide guidance when these calves return back home and uh, hopefully they can keep on the right path forward. Uh, each calf, uh, we record blood serum on each calf uh, here at the farm and then uh, that's the best metric for us to know uh, if that calf received enough uh, passive immunity or not. I believe the three most important things uh, to raising calves is number one, calves need fresh air. Number two, uh, I believe whole milk is best for calves. And number three, uh, calves need sunlight. I still believe hutches are the gold standard. Mm -hmm.